What we need to do is tie off our thread at the end of a seam. You will do this when you're finished sewing or if you have this much thread or left and you'll need to continue but you don't have enough to complete the job. If you have less than this much thread you will not be able to tie the knot and it's like trying to tie a shoelace when it's not long enough. It's very difficult so make sure you never have less than this much thread if you need to continue so you can get your knot tied. So this is a running stitch and this is the bad side. So this is where my knots are. Um, this one is a complete seam and then this one we have just finished and is coming out right here. Um, what we need to do, this is the good side, so we want all of our knots to be on the bad side. So where the thread has just come out of my seam, I'm just going to put my needle in as if I were doing a, a tiny little running stitch but I'm not going to take the needle out. Okay, so where the thread re comes out of the fabric, I'm going to take it between my fingers, wrap it tightly around the needle, then I'm going to use a thumb and a finger to hold that thread onto the end of the needle. Okay, I'm going to keep those fingers there, use my other thumb to push it to start it out, and then I'm going to pull it and keep holding and by holding it there, I've created a knot that will keep your stitches in place because we don't want them to come out. And then you can cut it. And if you need to start a new thread, you would do it right there. Or if you're done, that's the end.